When you, you can't see where it's coming from, there's just a innate fear that's quite different when, when you can see something coming at you. Lawrence Kemikawaji runs along this path near Lost Lagoon in Vancouver almost every morning. But on Tuesday, his run was anything but the usual. Just headed down this way. It's the very spot here. I feel what I thought was a baseball bat hit the back of my head. And I turned around concerned, thinking somebody would be standing there and I didn't see anybody. So I was shining my flashlight around and I saw a huge owl swoop down. And so I started running back to where I came in. He says the owl attacked him two more times, once making off with his toque. He says he was left with scratches on his head and needed to get a tetanus shot. I've run down this trail many times and it's the first time I've actually been attacked by an owl. So, and I love owls. They're majestic creatures. I, I think they're wonderful, but not when they're coming after you. This is common occurrence. Uh, we get phone calls every year around this time of it. Rob Hope, general manager at Owl Rehabilitation Society in Delta, says most of the times barred owls are behind swoopings like this. A lot of them are either A, protecting their territory, or they're young birds that are hunting in the area. And unfortunately, they only see ponytails or fleece vests or things like that that appear that blend in the environment and appears to be their food it's mistaken identity they're not purposely trying to hurt or steal articles of clothing he says you can avoid being a target by wearing bright colored clothing Kemikawaji says for now he's going to think twice before running at dawn be wary i guess about where you're running at what time and um and be aware of your surroundings just be respectful of nature it's um we're running in their habitat not the other way around in vancouver monica ghoul city news